so I've wanted to review this for a long time we were in Canada last December almost a year ago so this is yeah still just gonna check the date yeah so August 2021 um we're in uh we're in Canada, we're in a, believe it or not, we're in um, like a wine tasting, a, a vineyard, and we were doing a wine tasting thing, champagne and uh, Prosecco and all these different uh, wines in a vineyard in, in Canada, of all places. And uh, afterwards, you know, you go through and you do the tour and everything. And then at the end, you get to this store area where they got all sorts of things to buy. Bottles of wine and everything like the champagne. Um, but I saw this. Spicy chili bacon jam. <laughs> Spicy chili bacon jam. Now I thought, what the hell is that? And it's been in the cupboard. I've wanted to do a little review on it for a long time, but I uh, haven't got around to it. And I'm sitting at home, I'm waiting for Mel to get back, and I'm, you know, I'm thinking, let's, let's do a quick little review of the spicy chili bacon jam from Canada from last year. So uh, this is the review. So this is the spicy chili bacon jam. Yeah, so I'm gonna just open it up. A nice, nice little pop. So I'm going to have a sniff of it. That's weird. I mean, it really does smell like chili jam and bacon. Mm. All right, I'm going to taste it. Just on its own. Not too much. I don't know. I mean, that really is exactly what you expect it to taste like. It's like having jam, bacon, chili, all mixed up. And that is exactly what you'd get. It's, it's almost like you've been cooking a few things and whatever's dripped down onto the bottom of the, uh, onto the bottom of the cooker or something, or on the, it tastes like that. It tastes like burnt bacon chili and jam <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside so it really does it looks like there's some chilies in there some uh, bits of burnt bacon i mean it really is a strange strange thing but yeah spicy chili bacon jam but like i say we're gonna just try it on a bit of um bit of toast and we're gonna have some rye rye and buckwheat toast yeah, rye and buckwheat bread there that's been toasted gently and just put some real butter on there salted butter so real salted butter so it's gonna give it a nice little bit of saltiness right now we're going to use spoon to just get this let's not mess about here let's get a good couple of dollops on there and just spread it nicely so this is really I guess this is the ultimate breakfast jam really because it's bacon and it's jam so let's just have a nice little look at that glistening away and now just the taste a little taste of the spicy chili bacon jam It's what you'd expect. It really is. It tastes exactly like you'd expect. Not sure if I like it, but I don't hate it. But it tastes like 
exactly what it says. Spicy, chili, bacon jam. I think it is quite an acquired taste because it is spicy. It's got the warmth of the, um, of the chili. It's got the sweetness of the jam. And then you've got this sort of weird, sort of almost burnt bacon taste in there as well. Mm, so very strange, but strangely nice, uniquely nice. Mm. I don't know who came up with the idea to put chili, bacon and jam together, but they have. Mm. And this was eleven dollars fifty-five cents, so Canadian dollars. So it's about ten bucks. <laughs> was it worth it? Mm. For novelty value, of course. You know, I bought it. I'm a tourist, or I was a tourist. So we, you know, we bought it because it was very strange to see spicy chili bacon jam. How do I feel about that experience? I actually fancy another piece of toast. <laughs> so anyway, so if you get a chance to try the old spicy chili bacon jam made by Stonewall Kitchen, try it. You might like it. Tell me what you think. If you've ever had it, you know, let me know in the comments. Well, uh, I hope that was informative. Speak to you guys next time.